Okay, so it is three o'clock right now, a.m., and I could hear the harp uh, frequencies turn on shortly before 3 a.m. And then now all of a sudden we have these like 40 mile, mile an hour winds. Well, maybe more like 35 mile an hour winds. We have light drizzle and So, here's Broadway, got a little bit of a uh, drizzle, so we have drizzle, you can see the streets, let me see if I can clean this lens here, and uh, yeah, it's, so yeah, so we have, Harp frequencies are are basically blaring, and it's likely that these frequencies have caused this this wind, this gust of wind. We had a little bit of rain earlier um, today, and just mainly in the evening, we had rain. There's the street sign out here. And so yeah, that's, harp frequencies are going off. So three o'clock, I've heard people say that uh, PG&E will recalibrate their smart meters at three o'clock, but this is, this is a little overbearing. You will hear, uh, it's like a, an, an idle, uh, an engine idling, a diesel engine idling right sort of outside your window almost. And or it may sound like a transformer. I don't know if you can see the trees starting to move quite a bit here with this wind kicking up. Yeah, it's, uh, I would say it's a good, good 20 mile an hour wind 20 yeah 20 maybe 30 mile an hour wind and so yeah that's probably the best you can see the trees moving a little bit here uh, yeah it's, and then right there you can almost see the tree above that sign so, and then, so three o'clock in the morning, and we have not very much traffic on the, on the highway. We, again, we have a little bit of drizzle in the air, and it's typical, uh, not very much traffic at all. And we have these, these 30, well, they're, they're gusty. Gusts are pretty good right now, um, and it's very likely that these gusts have been caused by our uh, radio frequency transmitters. Uh, they are. They may also come from the Gwyn towers, the lower towers, um, cell phone towers. Basically, it's causing a vibration. And the vibration, uh, the vibration basically is, and there's a policeman. Hey, uh, what about these people with these frequencies? Oh, there goes another one. Uh, Three o'clock in the morning. And so apparently they know there's something up. Uh, and so yeah, uh, let's see if we can get this tree. There's a tree, there's a big tree right over there. You can't hardly see it, but yeah, we've got some pretty good gusts here going on right now. And
So yeah, three. It's probably ten after three right now, and so yeah, they're not gonna let you sleep very well. Um, basically, what it will sound like, it'll sound, it'll sound similar to like uh, those people who have, you know, the, the speakers in their cars, you know, those, lo those loud thumper machines in their, inside their cars. It's almost like that, but it's not an actual kind of audio s sound. It, it, it's more in your inner ear. You can, I can hear it in my inner ear. And, and, and basically, you know, I'm going to nickname this thing the, the, uh, the diarrhea frequency, and it typically will cause diarrhea. Um, actually, I'm, I'm going to also put the pretense on it that it could cause stroke. So if, if your cardiovascular system is not in good shape, uh, the vibration, and you can see I'm moving a bit here now, this, this wind is kicking up again. Uh, so yeah, once again, uh, the frequency could affect the cardiovascular system causing stroke, I believe. Um, but I believe mainly what it is is basically it's this, the frequency to, uh, to manipulate the sprayed particulates in the air to cause weather changes, to manipulate the weather, to control the weather. Basically, why would you want to control the weather? Well, you can control the crops, you can control um, uh, commodities market, you can control insurance markets, um, you can control crop growth. Um, there's a lot of motivations for uh, For uh, controlling the weather, um, also you know it's basically it's like keeping people um, sort of in the dark as to the true uh, situation uh, with the um, the environment. So if people are unaware of uh, for instance, global warming or the deterioration of the environment, you know, they're not going to be doing the same thing. They're not going to be buying the same stuff from Walmart or the same oil from their uh, local gas station or whatever. And the petroleum industry is going to be basically sort of out of the loop if people think that you know, the environment is really changing because of global warming. And so that's one of the reasons, you know, they want to keep their markets stable. So, you know, and basically it's about control. It's about controlling the people.